let's see what this looks like. This came uh, online vendor from eBay, uh, and it should be an order of Wasatang. I don't know how to pronounce that. Aquarium plant. Let's see what it looks like. Make sure it's okay. Don't cut fingers off because that would suck. All right. Out come a nice little box. And utility knife. There we are. Back in paper. It's damp. Where's the paper from? I always like to see when people send newspapers where they're from. No idea, not yet. That's not really important. And here it is. And this little plastic cup, I think it's supposed to be a two ounce cup. Let's get the scotch tape off. Scotch tape off. And Sawasatang. And it looks pretty good. Now I just got to drop it in a tank. I actually need to tuck it into some things. Um, so, let's see. Oh, this spreads out. That's, oh wow, yeah. I, I'm happy. I am happy. I will reach out to the vendor and let them know. Although it's eBay, and I have a thing about eBay. As an eBay seller, I feel it's my obligation when I get paid for an order right away to leave good feedback to uh, the eBay buyer. And I don't feel inclined as an eBay buyer to give any feedback at all unless as a, uh, I receive um, feedback from the seller first because if it wasn't for the buyer, the seller wouldn't exist. So anyway, that's my thought on, on the whole eBay thing. So if I've got a review uh, you know, like, thanks, good eBay eBay buyer for, you know, your quick payment, blah, blah, blah. If that doesn't exist, then I don't bother to leave a, a leave a, re, a, a review for the sellers anymore. As an eBay seller, I'm right on that. Somebody buys something for me, they get a good review. So if they paid for it right away. So anyway, my two cents. Anyway, this is uh, uh, what an order of Sabwasa tank from an eBay uh an eBay vendor looks like, and I think it was pretty pretty pricey. I think it was pushing 20 bucks, maybe, maybe even a little more. And if I, uh, I'll go back and look and I'll post it on the uh, on the video when I when I process that video. So yeah, all in all, not too shabby for a, uh, for a little thing of, of Sawasa Tang. So I had to come up with places to put it. So I stuffed some in between that rock and the end of the tank there. And there's another piece in the shadow. Let's see if I can get my finger in there, right under there. And I dropped a little piece in this farm tank right there with all my crips. And I dropped a little piece in with all the Mickey Mouse platies. Look at all the fry. And then the adults. And then I dropped a little piece in this five and a half gallon tank with these guppies. Um, and a couple of uh, orange sunkiss shrimp, and they have fry, the, the guppies do. Then I dropped a piece in with the bettas. Oh, and they're eating it, of course they are. They'll eat anything. And then I stuck a piece uh, in my 40 breeder with the uh, uh, albino crebensis, and this little sucker bit me as I was trying to put it in the tank. Anyway. And all I got to do is remember how to spell that because I can't. But anyway, thanks for watching.